discussions which will bring to an end the presidency of Nelson Mandela. But his last days as president have been soured by a personal attack by his ex-wife Winnie. Here's our Africa correspondent Tim Hewitt. Nelson Mandela chose a predominantly white area for his final election walkabout, but as the president preached political reconciliation, it was his ex-wife who was creating the biggest stir. Winnie Mandela, divorced three years ago, claims in an interview to be broadcast in America tonight that their marriage was a sham and that Mr. Mandela has turned his back on their two daughters. The youngest, Zinzi, got married the year her parents separated. She frequently joins her father at official functions. So too does Zanani, seen here at the president's inauguration. Mrs. Mandela's claims have caused some surprise. But Winnie Mandela, in the past accused of human rights abuses and convicted of kidnapping, is making a comeback in this election. She has powerful support among the underprivileged. This is a country where so much has changed, yet so much remains the same. Under Nelson Mandela, a new nation has been born. And yet here, in the poorest areas, there is resentment that reform has not gone far or fast enough. Nelson Mandela will hand the presidency to Thabo Mbeki, a generation younger and committed to accelerating the pace of change. As for the opposition, there's traditional election ballyhoo and even some premature celebrations, but they'll be swamped in Parliament. Winnie Mandela, meanwhile, has an optimistic eye on the new government. It's rumoured there may be a place for her in the cabinet. Tim Ewart, ITN, Johannesburg. Here, the football 